a wise man once said, "Roses are red, violets are blue, and kiwi fruits are purple." But hang on, why are roses red and violets blue, and aren't kiwi fruits just green and yellow? How can they be purple? And where to find them? Well, the red and the blue pigments are plant secondary metabolites called anthocyanins. They are responsible for the colors that we see in plants, flowers, and fruit. There are pink red anthocyanins and there are blue purple anthocyanins. For example, the deliciously red apple skin is filled with the red anthocyanin called cyanidin, and blueberry, as the name suggests, has a deep blue skin that is mainly filled of the blue anthocyanin called delphinidin. The anthocyanin appears when a fruit is ripening, and this is an indicator for fruit quality, and it's telling us that they are ready. Eating fruit with lots of anthocyanin is not only hashtag Instagram worthy, but it has lots of health benefits. Many studies show that anthocyanin have great antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, and they reduce the risk of cardiovascular and inflammation diseases. Now back to the question: Why are roses red and violets blue? This is because red and blue anthocyanins are made by different enzymes. Violets are blue because the blue-making enzyme is stronger than the red-making enzyme. Roses can't be blue because the blue-making enzyme does not exist until scientists overcame this bottleneck and created blue roses. But we are lucky. Without much of our efforts, purple kiwi fruit already exists in the wild. Kiwi fruit is the number one export fruit for New Zealand, and it made 2.3 billion New Zealand dollars in 2019. There are many species of kiwi fruit that has different colors, texture. And my research was to study the reason why this certain type of kiwi fruit is purple. We found out that these purple kiwi fruit have a lot of red and blue anthocyanins in their skin and flesh, which gives the dark purple look. That also means that both the red and the blue making enzymes are present, and they are actively working. We then found out that the making of the anthocyanin is carefully regulated by another group of enzymes called transcription factors. One that's called mitochondrion ten is responsible for activating the core pathway, while the other two, called mipc one and wirki forty four, are responsible for activating the red and the blue branches of the anthocyanin pathway. So this helped us to understand more about where the purpleness come from and how it is regulated. The more we understand, the more we can breed towards better kiwi fruit with fun colors and increased nutritional benefits.